You know, people are quick to tell you that you only get one mother. But what happens when that person is the source of so much of your pain? You ever think about that? You know, when people think of their mother, you think of somebody who's nurturing and caring and soft and, you know, stuff like that. I didn't have a mother. Not in the sense that you would, not in the way that you would think, right? My mom, oh shit, my mom wasn't a mom. My mom was a dad. That's essentially the role that she played. And in a lot of cases, and in a lot of reasons, she had to. She had to be that type of person because, you know, she we lived, we lived in the middle of the hood. And, you know, she was raising two of us, two boys on her own, you know, because our dads weren't around. So, well, at least my dad wasn't around. So she, she had to. But that didn't come without its flaws. That didn't come without its sense of sense, sense of problems. Because my mom was always, the, the the role that she played was the disciplinary. And everything she did was to was to instill discipline and fear into us. Or at least for me in my case. I, and for me in my case, I'll speak for me. Like for years, I grew up fearing my mother. When I, up until the point I was a teenager, I feared for my mother physically because, you know, I would, I would be disciplined and this amount of the severity that I would go through the things that I would go through during the discipline during the disciplining I I found to be excessive and if you if you look up the clinic the the like literal term of abuse like if you look up the dictionary and find out what abuse is my mother was abusive to to me and that has led us to how we got here over the years that's led our relationship to be pretty shaky and dicey and it's because you know what like my mother's opinionated and she doesn't care what anybody says or how anybody feels about the things that she says you know she's called my wedding fake because it wasn't exactly what... Listen to what I just said. She called my wedding fake because it wasn't what she thought a wedding should be. It's that type of shit, you know what I mean? That I'm like, you know, how dare you? Now, I know some people might say, oh, but that's your mom and, you know, you're supposed to, like, you only get one. But like I started this video with saying, like, you know, how... Am I supposed to just eat shit, eat shit for the sake of eating shit? You know, like, at what point do I get to say to her or anybody else, like, yeah, I'm not taking this shit anymore. Like, you you don't get to say what you want to say or whatever it is that you think you should say just because you're my mother. Like, that doesn't guarantee you, that doesn't grant you that right to be disrespectful or rude just because you're my mother. And that, and it's that type of stuff, you know? So our relationship over the years has always been rocky. It's always been, you know what, you know, when she says stuff, and then there was like no, there was like, I don't even know how to explain, like the fact that people would be around didn't stop her from saying the shit that she used to say to us. And it's, you know what, and it wasn't just me. And I'ma let, I'ma let other people speak for themselves when that time comes and she has the answer to those people. But I know for a fact, because I've seen it and I heard it, it wasn't just me. 
I wasn't the only child that she did this kind of thing to. But I was the one that wouldn't tolerate. I was the one that would fight back. So then I became the disrespectful one. I, You know, you let her tell it and I was a horrible child. And it's because I did things, I acted up in rebellion of the shit that she was doing to me. You know what I mean? Like, you don't get to... You don't get to be disrespectful simple because your mom. Like, I didn't... I love my mom. I love my mom more than anything in the world. Like, there's not many things that are up there with my mom besides my children and, stuff, and my wife and stuff like that. But I love my mother. But loving my mother doesn't make it okay for her to say and do certain shit, you know what I mean? Simply because of my mother. And I love my mother and I honor my mother because of who my mother was growing up, like the sacrifices she made. Now, it wasn't all bad, you know? My mom kicked ass and she did a lot of, she did a lot of things that a man should have that she had to prove to us and to herself that, hey, you know what? I'm a single woman, but I can make this shit happen. So it wasn't all bad. I'm not, I, I don't want to paint my picture my mom as a monster but at the same time man like you have to set boundaries right like at what point is enough enough is is where i'm getting at you know at what point so last year around this time was the last time i spoke to her i haven't spoke to my mother in almost a year and it's because we got into it i told her the truth i opened up and i said you know she asked me how come I don't share my life with her. And I told her what I said to her. And she didn't like it. And then immediately she started in and blaming my wife for the things that she was unhappy about with my relationship with her. My wife has done nothing to her. My wife has done absolutely nothing. And she's been shitted on, like telling my wife that her wedding was fake. You know, my wife didn't deserve that. She didn't do anything. As a matter of fact, she tried to be an awesome daughter-in-law when everything first, when we first got started. And when I told my mother about that and I didn't defend her against my wife, which I felt like I didn't have to defend her. She did nothing wrong. My wife didn't do anything wrong. You know what? I told my mom, I said, this is why shit is fucked up. This is why this is the way it is because we... We don't want to take accountability for the things that we say and the stuff that comes out of our mouth. So my mom told me to have a nice life. She was like, have a nice life. And that was the last time I talked to her. That was a year ago today. Well, not today, but that was a year ago. The reason why this video was so important for me to make is because I know there's other people out there on the fence and struggling with whether or not family should be cut off or not to answer that question i don't know you'd have to figure that out for yourself you have to ask yourself is the alternative worth it can you deal with what you keep getting if you don't cut them off as for me i don't know i don't know if i'll ever talk to my mother again i want to i hope so but it's got to be under different circumstances because I'm no longer willing to let her disrupt my peace. I'm no longer willing to let her make me feel like shit because I don't do things the way she thinks I should I should do them. So I don't know. Right now, my peace and my happiness is more important to me than speaking to her. And I don't know if that's bad to say or not, but... That's how I feel. So if you're on the fence, man, family can get cut off too. Don't keep eating shit just because they're family. That's not it. If things, if there's a chance to make things better, then take that chance because life is short. But if you feel like you've done everything you can to help the situation and it hasn't changed, well, then there's your answer.